Everybody knows Brazil as the country of soccer, and this can be seen even in our language. That's why, in this video, I'll show you seven idioms with ball in Brazilian Portuguese. My name is Andressa Maia, and this is Falando Nisso. So, uh, I will explain to you the meaning of these seven idioms that we use a lot in our daily conversations, okay? First one is baixa a bola, low the ball. It doesn't make sense like this. Baixa a bola uh, can be used in two situations. For example, a friend come to you and, and comes to you and say something like, "Oh, I am the most handsome guy of the whole school," and you want to say, "Oh, come on, don't be so puffed up. Come on, that's not true." In Portuguese, it would be, "Hey, baixa a bola, né?" Não é verdade. Baixa a bola que você não é isso tudo, não. You are not that handsome. Você não é isso tudo. Baixa a bola, ok? And another way to use baixa a bola is when you want to say to other person to calm down and speak lower. Maybe you are having an argument and the other person is yelling, is nervous, and you want to say, calm down. This would be a... Hey, Baixa a bola. Fala baixo. Baixa a bola. People say that a lot when they are fighting. Hey, baixa a bola. Like this. Okay? Next one. Encher a bola. To inflate the ball. But it's not to inflate the ball. The idea is to inflate someone's ego. Uh, you are, when you say a lot of compliments to someone like, oh, you are awesome, you are great, you are the best. So you are enchendo a bola of that person, okay? Next one, bola pra frente, ball forward. It's like, life goes on, let's move on. Maybe you broke up with your boyfriend or with your girlfriend and you just want to say, okay, life goes on, okay? So, bola pra frente, bola pra frente, okay? Next one, dar bola. Dar bola, it's to flirt with someone. So, if you want to say that other person is flirting with you, you can say, Aquela pessoa está me dando bola, está me dando bola. So, if you hear it in Portuguese, someone saying to you, Aquela garota está te dando bola, aquele garoto está te dando bola. So, you will know that that person is flirting with you, okay? But then we have não dar bola. E não, não dar bola is to completely ignore. Like this, aquela pessoa não está me dando bola nenhuma. That person is completely ignoring me. Não tá me dando bola nenhuma. But there is, there is another use for não dar bola. And it's like, you have a friend that is upset because other persons are saying bad things about him, for example. And you want to say to him, oh, don't pay attention to them. They are not important. Don't pay attention. Don't, don't be sad. So, in Portuguese, it would be... It would be Não dá bola para eles, não. não. Não liga. Don't care about them. Don't pay attention to what they are saying. Não dá bola. Não dá bola, não. It's like this, okay? Next one. Show de bola. Maybe you've heard that. Show de bola, it's just like very good. Excellent. So, show de bola. Very good. Show de bola. Okay? Next one, pisar na bola, to step on the ball. It doesn't make sense, but it means to mess up, to make a mistake. So, uh, I've made a mistake and now my, my friend is upset to, with me. Eu pisei na bola e agora meu amigo tá chateado comigo. Eu pisei na bola. I've made a mistake. I messed it up. Okay? 
And the last one, trocar as bolas. To change the balls. No, it's not that. To get mixed up. It's the idea. For example, oh, I got mixed up. I wanted to call my mom, but I dialed my dad's number. So, eu troquei as bolas. Eu queria ligar para minha mãe e disquei o número do meu pai. Ok? You, do, you, do you understand the idea? Trocar as bolas when you confuse something with something else. Ok? So, these are seven idioms with balls in Brazilian Portuguese. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a comment, and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye!